Hi, I'm Eli, and I make games. So recently on YouTube, I say recently, but it's really the past year, I've seen a lot of game devs taking on the challenge of making a game in the next amount of time. These challenges are typically like nice, rounded, normal amounts such as a week, 48 hours, 72 hours, 12 hours, an hour, 30 minutes, 10 minutes, and so on. So you see these perfectly round and nice numbers that are pretty and throw them in the garbage because so i decided to play on with this trend and i made a game in 52 minutes 18 seconds here's why and how so personally i don't like to typically follow trends i mean really it's pretty boring you simply plop yourself in a in a position simply because you think it's cool or you feel you need to but like i said it's boring so i noticed that making a video in this genre of making a game under a time restriction would garner a fair amount of views and i had the very rational thought of doing it but making it with my charm my flair so, I decided I would make the timer oddly specific to stand out a bit. Create more of my brand, you know? So, I went on to Google and got four random numbers, put them in the timer one at a time. In the end, I ended up with a time of 52 minutes, 18 seconds, and I was ready. Now it's time for the mandatory fun fact of the day. I should not have sung that, but anyways... So today's fact is about permutations. Okay, wait. Don't leave. Won't be boring. Trust me. And you can skip to the next chapter anyway. So d bear with me here. So if you didn't know, a permutation is a combination with an order. Most people don't realize is that combinations don't have a specified order. A combination is more like a lottery ticket. It doesn't matter what order you put it in. If you get the numbers right, you win. Good job. Permutations, on the other hand, have an order. They're more like, ironically enough, a combination lock. Not only do you have to get the right numbers, but also the right order. And that's what a permutation is. I hope you enjoyed that, and if you didn't, too bad. I don't know. Now back to your scheduled video. Camera said I open up GDevelop because if I'm honest, I like Unity better for large projects or semi-large projects. And GDevelop better for the smaller stuff. That's why my each page is mostly GDevelop stuff, because the Unity stuff is just still behind the scenes. Anyways, I opened up GDevelop in 3, 2, 1, go, and I was off. Well, kind of. Before I started the timer, I did a somewhat quick brainstorming session of what to make. I decided I'd make a game like download, well, sort of. The final game ended up being more of a platformer where you fall, but still, I was making a game with some basic shape that I'd tidy up later and make the basic mechanic of platformer controls and randomly generated platforms. But you might be wondering, how does the randomly generated platform system work? Well, great for asking that totally real question, I'll explain. Basically, each time a platform spawns, it chooses a random X position from a range of floats. Simple death rules. Basically, out to the hundredth place. Then, I adjusted scale according to another random number to make the platform wider or shorter. Boom! That's how I did it. You're welcome. Next, I adjusted the platform controls to use both arrow keys and WSD. I looked at the timer and there was about 10 minutes left. So, I rushed to SFXR to make some sound effects. I made one, so we're starting on the menu, that kind of worked every once in a while it does, every once in a while it doesn't, but this is a limited time game, what do you do expect? And one for jumping and one for landing. I had a little bit of trouble with the one for landing though. I got it fixed and then the timer went off. So was doing this way did the most efficient thing? No, probably not. Did I just infuriate almost every person with OCD? Yes, absolutely, yeah, probably yeah, yeah, definitely. But did I enjoy this? Yeah. So, I probably should just stop extending the length of the video with meaningless questions and just finish it. So, moral of the story is, doing these things are fun, and breaking what's normal is even more fun. I'm probably going to do more of this, but I don't know. Tell me down below in the comments or whatever. 
and I, I, like I said, I need to just stop extending the link to this video. So, if you like, like. If you don't, don't. And subscribe. Peace.